Hello friends. Welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you about rectifiers, the AC to DC converters. So first we know about rectifier. Rectifier is an electrical device that converts alternating current to direct current or it is AC to DC converter. And the process of conversion is called rectification. Here we see in the diagram, this is rectifier and the input of the rectifier is alternating current and the output of the rectifier is direct current. But the direct current is not in the regulated or pure direct current. It is pulsating direct current. Pulsating means the output DC current having some ripple. Here we see in the pulse there is a fluctuation that is called ripple. Uh, ripple means the AC component present in the DC output. That ripple is not good for any electronic circuit. How to get regulated DC power supply? To get regulated DC power supply, only rectifier is not sufficient. We require number of component to convert AC input into regulated DC output. So, the components are the transformer, rectifier, filter, regulator. These are the components that convert AC into regulated DC. So, first the AC input signal is directly given to the transformer. Transformer is basically the AC to AC converter that convert AC main supply into safe low voltage AC or safe high voltage AC for the safe operation of the further circuitry with the help of step up or step down operation. The output of transformer is given to the rectifier. The output of the transformer which is AC voltage is given to the rectifier. Rectifier is a AC to DC converter that convert AC input voltage into pulsating DC output voltage. That pulsating DC output voltage is given to the input of the filter. Filter is a device that remove ripples. Ripple means unwanted AC component present in DC output. Of the rectifier output, filter passes DC component and block AC component. Filters typically construct from reactive circuit elements such as capacitor, inductor, register. Now, the output of the filter given to the regulator. Regulator maintain constant DC output voltage. Either input voltage is varying or load current is varying. The filter circuit is constructed from Zener diode, IC transistors. Now the output of the regulator is regulated DC power supply. Here we see V output, the straight line that is regulated DC output power supply having no ripples. That is safe for all the electronic circuitry. So given directly to the load. So with the help of this component, all this component, we convert AC into regulated DC power supply. Now the applications of the rectifier. Rectifiers having so many applications in domestic applications, industrial applications where we need to convert AC into DC. But the most important and frequently used application in our daily life is mobile charging. In mobile charging, the charger is directly connected to the AC main supply and the output of the charger is connected to the mobile where the battery is charged. So, this charger is basically an AC adopter. Adopter consists of transformer, rectifier, filter and regulator. The, uh, the adopter directly connected to the AC main supply. So, the AC main is given to the transformer. Transformer, here we use a step down transformer because the AC signal, AC supply is 220 volt, 50 hertz AC main supply, which is too high. So, the step down transformer reduce the AC supply 
these ac reduce ac signal or low ac signal is given to the rectifier rectifier convert the ac into pulsating dc output voltage the pulsating dc is given to the filter circuit filter reduce the ripple of the rectifier output now the output of the filter is given to the regulator regulator again reduce the or reject ac ripples that not removed by the filter circuitry and the output of the regulator is pure dc it means the regulated dc given to the load or the battery the battery get charges so these are the more practical and most frequently used example of the rectifier now classification of rectifier rectifier are basically two type half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier in this lecture i will explain you only half wave rectifier half wave rectifier half wave rectifier is a type of rectifier which convert half of the ac input signal into pulsating dc output signal and the remaining half signal is blocked or lost the half wave rectifier use only a single diode the half wave rectifier circuit half capacity of input voltage is utilized and half is wasted so the, its efficiency is only 41% now circuit diagram of half wave rectifier here we see that circuit diagram of half wave rectifier the circuit diagram consists of a transformer that is usually step down transformer the identity of the step down transformer is the this is the primary winding of the transformer and this is secondary winding of the transformer in a step down transformer the primary winding having large number of turns as compared to secondary winding or in a step up transformer the primary winding have a smaller number of turns as compared to secondary winding this is a step down transformer a diode diode is an electrical device that conduct only in one direction it means it allow to flow of current only in one direction when anode is positive with respect to cathode and the load resistance rl now when high ac voltage is applied to the step down transformer step down transformer reduce this high voltage into low voltage ac signal this low voltage ac is produced as the secondary winding of the transformer that low voltage is called secondary voltage is directly given to the this secondary voltage is given to diode and load resistance rl now we discuss the operation of the half wave rectifier with the help of waveform this is the circuit diagram and this is the waveform here we see in the circuit diagram the ac input signal is given to the transformer primary winding and the secondary voltage is induced in the secondary winding of the transformer that is vs vm sin omega t where vm is the maximum amplitude of the supply voltage and it is a sine wave this secondary voltage is directly connected to the diode and the load resistance rl now here we see in the waveform this is vm sin omega t the sine wave during the positive half cycle of the supply voltage this node is positive and the lower node is negative if this situation is appear the diode is start conducting and turn on so during turn on the diode is behave like a short circuit and whole voltage appear across the load resistance rl so the output voltage that time during positive half cycle is just equal to the ac input voltage when diode is turned on now during the negative half cycle of supply voltage the upper node is negative and the lower node is positive that time the diode is turn off because anode is negative with respect to cathode and diode is behave like a open switch when diode is open switch there is no voltage appear across the load so that time during negative half cycle here we see in the waveform 
zero voltage appear across the output or load resistance. Again, during positive half cycle, diode is turned on, behave like a short circuit, and the whole voltage appear across load resistance RL. The output is same as the input voltage. This cycle repeat again and again. That is the waveform of output voltage. The same waveform appear for the output DC current because in case of resistance, the linear relationship between voltage and current. There is zero degree phase difference between V and I across R. So the waveform of V is exactly equal to the waveform of I. So guys, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please like, subscribe and share my channel.